I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think, I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. shit. Oh, we go where we're not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Sorry we left you last week, but it was Thanksgiving, it was man. It Thanksgiving, man. What you want us to do, man? Yeah, how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, uh, man, Thanksgiving was cool. Do you know what's crazy? I woke up on the uh, last Wednesday, not this past Wednesday, last Wednesday, right? And bro, I couldn't lift my arm. Oh no! Like that shit was like I I I can't even describe the pain that I was feeling. So I like I thought I tore like my rotator cuff or something, right? Well, and so um you know I had to do hell of a week that Thursday. So I woke up on Thursday morning. So I did hell of a week, mm -hmm. and then um Friday I went to the uh I had to go to the emergency room. What this shit was killing me. I I I got an MRI scheduled for Tuesday, but I'm like yo this shit is hurting so bad. So I went and got an MRI. Saturday, yeah. and they told me that I had a uh, calcific tendonitis. Oh, that's what you texted us. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, calcific yeah. brutitis or something. Okay. So basically, it's when calcium builds up in certain parts of your body. So for me, it built up in my shoulder. Yeah. And I couldn't even get the shot because usually they say it builds up at the top right here, but mine was like in the front. So I ended up getting on a steroid for like the past six days and icing it to get the inflammation down. And I feel great now. And that, but it, it literally took until about like Wednesday. Wow. Put that to wear off. Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Prior to that, I couldn't even use my left arm. And you, man, I'm telling you, you take for granted. We take for granted our fucking limbs, bro. Okay. Like, just think about, you don't even realize, I'm right-handed. So you don't realize how much your left hand does for you yeah. until you cannot use that motherfucking. So when I finally did get the feeling back in my arm and could, like, use it, I'm like, man, thank God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, thank yeah. God to be able to have a both limbs and you said that you you did it from working out really hard you've been going really hard in the gym you been going saying. hard in the gym yeah. my cousin perm you know what i mean so uh yes yesterday i went to the orthopedist and my doctor was like you good you can get back to your regular scheduled activities you know just just take it easy uh, 44 bro yeah that's you right know? you're getting older Cause <laughs> harder to harder to see the results from all that work yeah shut up <laughs> and calcific tendonitis, <laughs> and and, and tendonitis <laughs> is wild because um it's only because of age and wear and tear. Yeah, that makes sense. That's literally it. Yeah, yeah. Aging and wear and tear is the only thing that causes calcific tendonitis. So it's just a reminder to sit your ass down somewhere. Does it uh, eventually turn into, um, oh God, what is that thing called uh, where you can't like really close your hands? Yeah, 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 yeah. Arthritis. arthritis. Does it turn into arthritis? Because that's uh, the shit you got to be careful with. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, be careful with that. Remember, remember when they told us calcium was good for us? It is good for you. Is it? Yeah, not the tendonitis isn't good. It's calcium. If it's good for you, then how come when it builds up, it fucking causes pain? Well, don't let it build up. You just want it flowing through. Blood when it builds up clots, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They told us milk was good. Milk did a body good, only to tell us later on in life oh. that shit wasn't good for you. They tell us everything. They told us the vaccine worked. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know <laughs> if the. I, I think I'm gonna only assume the vaccine worked, right? <laughs> I'm only going to assume the vaccine worked because all of us are outside. They told us it worked better than it did. Put it that way. I don't know, man. I don't want to make this an anti-vax podcast. Yes. I'm no, not it's not. It's anti not anti-vax. I'm I, just. I, I'm just joking. But like, I think when you're vaccinated, you can have these conversations. I'm vaccinated. I'm That's vaccinated too. Like, That's like, what I'm like, saying. So we're so, vaccinated. We can you. have these conversations. Thank you. Yeah, we could be upset that we got vaccinated and got COVID. I don't know if I'm upset that I got vaxxed, but I do feel like if you brought if you bought like a, a shining armor, you're a knight, and you yeah. bought some new armor. And then an arrow went through it. Wouldn't you return it? Depends what a, depends how thin the arrow was. Mm -hmm. It depends where now, it hit me in the what, armor. What, what if, it, what what if, if this armor was specifically made to stop arrows? And they were like, yo, there's no arrows that could possibly break through this armor. This is arrow armor. They never told us that with the vaccine, though. They just told us that the vaccine would prevent you from, like, dying basically that's what they told oh, us they never said it never said you couldn't get covid there they go they just said it would it, keep you from not from dying Charlemagne's a shill for the democrats i can't tell <laughs> now that now, now i saw something the other day that said uh i'm 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 shitting on the democrats because i get so much right wing press now so i'm <laughs> Bro, doing it so i'm funny. doing it because it's for marketing <laughs> god forbid that i'm just a tax-paying citizen who yeah. calls it like he sees it Bro, I, they <laughs> calling me a shill for the democrats out i'm like word <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't but know. that's why I, I hate the tribalism that exists in this shit. Mm. It's like if I'm critical of Democrats, then I'm MAGA. 
if I'm critical of MAGA, then I'm a shell for the Democrats. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. Which one but, is uh, it? But yeah, I think it, I think the overall frustration that a lot of us are feeling, I assume a lot of us are feeling, is like a lack of trust in institution, right? Because yeah. it feels like so much of the stuff we're told ends up not being exactly what we're told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, think yeah. when that happens consistently for a long period of time, you just start to remove yourself from information. Because nobody wants to admit they just simply don't know. Mm. We go to these different institutions on television and in the media, and we want comfort. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they have to tell us things to comfort us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, also, we hire you to know. I don't want to know. I want you to tell me. <sighs> yeah. But and I then when you act like you know, and then you don't, I get frustrated. How about let us know after y'all have fucking sat down and figured it out for yourself? I guess there was You know what time. I mean? That's what I would like to know. But I do feel like uh, in regard to the COVID, there is something going on after COVID. Like there is some type of long, what they call it, long COVID. There's mm. something that's impacting people after they've been infected with COVID. I don't oh, know what think? it is. Yeah, man. Like, it's just too much. There's so much, too much people having cardiovascular issues. Oh, really? People having problems with their lungs, their heart, like, you know, stomach issues. Like, it's, wow. it's something going on. You don't think it's more people dying than normal, bro? No. Shh. But I don't know. But I don't know. It I, seems I, like it to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to my guy, Hovane. You oh, know, uh, man, salute to the good me. brother, Hovane, man. You know, Hovane was somebody who I literally spoke to every day. Like literally every day in some way, shape or form, whether it was a text message, whether it was a phone call, something. I spoke to him every day. And I know people say this when people pass away. One of the most beautiful humans you ever going to meet in your life. Mm. It's the nice, loving, supportive person. Like the person that'll hit you and be like, yo, show you killing it with the infamous shit. Like he used to, yeah. he, he, he didn't even, I don't, y'all didn't know each other, right? Mm. But he would talk about you oh, just because he would see your success, like he was that type of person, like right. would always just be championing, yeah. you know, other people's success. And it's just like, it's very strange to go from like having a yeah. text conversation with a person Oof. that morning Oof. and that afternoon, because the last text that whole man sent to the group chat was like 2.25 p.m. Yeah. And then literally a few hours later, getting the call that he passed away, you're like, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, yeah. I, I don't know, for me, that, that, that was very unexpected to me, and it just feels like we know death is just a part of life. It's a part of the process of life. But it feels like there's a lot more people passing away yeah. than usual. Yeah. To me, anyway. I and could and what wrong. did uh, Hovain pass from? For I don't I mean, I'll talk to you. haven't come back yet. Right now. But, uh, I mean, they, they, they think it's they're a— They're assuming it's uh, a heart attack. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, you get a little older, and then you get uh, more in touch with your mortality. <sighs> it is— uh, Life is a, is a is a fascinating thing, my man. And then you have kids. You're worried about them dying. It's know? all it's all a con. Anybody yeah. out there that tells you that they got it figured out and uh, they don't live in a constant state of anxiety, then I don't think that they have enough responsibilities. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have anxiety, then you don't have enough responsibilities. Yeah, responsibility will cause that. Shit. Uh, yeah. You think? Yeah. You think for all you dog lovers out there, everybody yeah. that loves their pets and shit, yeah, yeah. imagine having kids. No, it's listen. That's why I get midlife crises. I don't. You don't. Hell no. Oh. The older I get, I do not yeah. understand midlife crises, and I'm glad you brought that up. You know I don't understand yeah. it. Yeah. Because the older I get, and the more I see people not making it to this age. Yeah. Give me more. Yeah. Feed me, see more. To give you more what? Age. Yeah, I think that's the midlife crisis. What I thought people, would, I thought midlife crisis when you don't like the fact you're getting old. Yeah, but the way that you react to it, yeah, is by buying a bunch of flashy shit not or me. like doing expensive things. Not right, me. Right, right. I like living. <clears throat> yeah, I think they do too. And they're like, I need to get the most out of it. I don't think that has nothing to do with life. I just think that's just insecurity. Like Howard Stern. Uh, well, then why would they wait till midlife? I think it's the insecurity maybe they probably just of losing the money. life. Well, that's the, thing that I, that's the thing that I feel about it. I think that we judge midlife crisis because they're like, oh, you you turn 45, you want to buy these cars. It's like, that's how long it takes to make enough money <laughs> yeah, to buy a nice yeah, car, yeah, you little yeah, brat. Yeah, yeah, you fucking yeah, brat. Yeah, you know how long yeah. it takes to make money when yeah. you can buy a Ferrari? Yeah. So then, but then part two, I think also is like, I need to buy this Ferrari because this might be the only time in my life where I could buy a Ferrari. Like, 
I don't know if I can buy a Ferrari when I'm 60 years old. What if I have four kids? I need to put them through college and do all these things. Yeah. I need to get out. I think it's, I mean, maybe Chris, you can even speak to this more, but like, I, I Why, can, Chris going through a midlife crisis? No, but like <laughs> maybe you and your friends are right. Like, and even like, I'm sure you might have people your age where it's like, okay, I need to get this out of my system. Do you remember before you locked it down? You were like, like before I was like, when I was running around in these streets, right? I was like, I want to get this out of my system. I want to know that I've done all the things. I don't want to regret. I don't want to think back, oh, did I ever have a threesome or, oh, did I ever do these things? I'm glad I got all that system because now I'm not craving. Now I'm not going, what if? And I think a lot of people go through that with life. They go, what if I had that car? What if I bought bottles at the club or whatever? I don't ju judge yeah. them for that. Yeah, that's so interesting you say that because I saw Howard Stern, uh, Howard Stern was talking about Oprah. We can find a clip, we can add it. And Howard was talking about how he feels like Oprah shows off her wealth. I don't know. Oprah's not embarrassed by her wealth at all. She loves showing it off on Instagram. It's mind blowing. You, when you follow her on Instagram, you see her estates, her gardens, the people who service her and, you know, service it's, her. She's not a car. Well, I'm, well, she kind of is. She's got uh, servants and like people cooking and it's wild. I think when it comes to somebody like Oprah, that's just her life. You know what I'm saying? She's 60 years old and she'd been rich for a long ass time. So I don't know enough to say uh, that she does or doesn't. I've never thought that she was braggadocious about me. Her neither. Wealth. There are people that are that for sure. Like rappers. Not only will rappers exactly, brag about yeah. their wealth, they'll shit on you fuck motherfuckers. You fuck boys yeah, for being broke. Yeah, yeah, broke yeah. fucking boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and, and, and I was also thinking about like, because people like to say that we had this discussion on Breath Club and people like, oh, you know, people like to say things like, oh, this is inspiring. I don't get inspired by material things. I don't get inspired by people showing off wealth. I get inspired by the work. What inspires me about Oprah is when I see her living that life she's living, I know that this is decades and decades of hard work. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I, I, I get impressed by, yep. I get inspired by seeing people who've done work on themselves, whether mm -hmm. it's somebody who used to be fat and then they got in shape physically, you know what I mean? Or watching the evolution of people, you know, people who go on healing journeys, you know what I mean? They start going to therapy, they start seeing their sacred purpose, coach, whatever it is, like I, that's, that's what inspires me. The material mm -hmm. wealth, that shit don't do nothing for me because mm -hmm. anybody can get on Instagram and fucking front. All y'all motherfuckers can get on Instagram with a fake wad of money and stand in front of somebody else's car yeah. and pretend. But have you ever, like, you know, been to someone's home and then felt like, oh, wow, I really want this for myself or I want aspects of this for myself? Like, I, do you remember the first time you saw somebody, like, with land and you're like, oh, fuck, I, I want to work hard so I can get that? Sometimes seeing those things. Listen to what you said, though. Yeah, yeah. Work hard so I can get sure, that. Sure, sure. But the thing is what inspired the hard work. Does that make sense? Yes, but that's what that's what it does. Like, if, if I see something like that, right, I'm like, well, what does this person do? Yeah. That's yeah. immediately what I think. Yeah. I don't think about, yeah. man, how much did this cost? Yeah. I want to know what does this person yeah. do? Yeah. That's the inspiration for me when I sit down and have a conversation with a person. Like, I do that shit on vacation all the time. Yeah. You meet people and motherfuckers be on vacation. You're like, well, I wonder who that is. And you scrape up a conversation. You're like, well, I, I buy property. You know what I mean? I, 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 I buy land and lease it to Walmart. Shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah. that's what inspires me. Yeah. Not just the fact that you're sitting around with a big ass house or a bunch of cars and shit like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I, I see rappers do that shit all day, every day. Yeah. That shit don't inspire me. Yeah. I don't fucking rap. Yeah. Or, or, or yeah. have the desire to rap. Yeah. I'm inspired by work. Yeah. 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 What did you do to get to that level? And I, and I guess yeah. even from the rap perspective, I'm inspired by people whose talent is so great that they become yeah. also the richest. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's like a combination of both. Like, it's like, uh, you might have never gone on a boat, right? Or no, like, let's put it this way. Like, it's important to see other neighborhoods. You know, like, one of the cool things about New York City is that, like, you could live in the hood and you're 30 minutes away tops on a subway from the richest part of New York City. Yeah. So you can walk around it. You can see how people live and you can start saying to yourself, like, yo, I want to kind of live like this. Like, and you needed to see it 
to even know that it's an opportunity. Like, oh, you, you need, say, yo, this is what we need to be robbing at. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Why we keep robbing Why each other? Why we robbing other, broke yo? people? Word is yeah. We working too hard. <laughs> Which is the other thing y'all yeah. don't realize y'all inspiring people. Keep flossing that shit on the ground. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying floss. And I understand what Stern is saying, which is like, don't be showy with your wealth because I do feel that way, especially with uber rich people. Though I would also say that like Oprah's been such an open book for her entire life. Yes. It's, it would be weird for her to change it. And we know she's rich, bruh. Off the work. Yeah, but I'm not discrediting how she made it. She made it herself, but it's like, ain't nobody finding out when they see Oprah's house. Nobody's like, wait, is she rich? It's Oprah. It's Oprah. <laughs> we She's yes. rich. We right? expect the ambiance. We want that, the opulence. Yes. And how rich is Howard Stern that he refers to uh, employees as servants? <laughs> yeah, that's some rich ass <laughs> shit, bro. That, no, yeah. That, that's and, rich. yeah, I mean, like, Howard probably got some help. You know Come what I mean? Man. Like, yeah. Come on. That's Howard fucking Stern. Yeah. But I do, I do respect people who are. But I understand where he's coming from because it does seem, it does seem, um, I don't want to say it. it, it it's I, I really don't feel this way about Oprah, but there are certain people I do feel this way about where it's just like you. If your whole identity is wrapped around what you have, what happens when you don't have it no more? You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I said. I like people. I like the work. That's what I'm inspired by. Yeah. And also, I I just think it's unsafe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like like why show this off and then try to be a regular person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be the other shit. Yeah. People be showing just like extravagant shit. And then just want to show up to Chick Fil A. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. All right. But why can't you be rich and regular? That well, I guess that goes back to why you can't just be you, rich. You're rich and regular. I'm not rich. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking what? I am rich in spirit. Yes, God. You, know I mean? you want you want to trade? I that? thank God for. The, trade, I thank God for His house. mercy. I thank God for the gratitude that uh, I have for life. No, you're you know rich. You're I rich. am not. You're objectively rich. I am not. Bullshit. I see you shining, nigga. I can smell a motherfucker with money. <laughs> Even Ray Charles can see you got money. You're objectively you wealthy. From? I am happy. <laughs> That's a nice way to say it. What is my definition of rich? Oh, uh, don't get the uh, little blue, blue, spirit. My family and That's spirit. right. Family, <laughs> my wife, oh, my kids, God. my relationships, Why don't my you try friends. to pay some bills and relationships. Say that, say that when the bank asks for your mortgage. I'm going to call you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, yo, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm, I'm happy. Life no, is. no, no. We know you're happy. And yes. that, then there's also a dollar amount that it's you really have not. I promise you it's really. That not. is objectively. Rich. It's really not, man. Okay. I just, it's really not. Money okay. don't, money I, don't make gonna, you happy, I'm going to tell you, money does not make you happy. Okay? It does not make you happy. <laughs> I have $30 million in the bank. Whoa. So, damn, bro. Charlotte got more than $30 million, Yeah, I bro. know, right? I That's made up great. a number hoping that he'd be like, you got what? <laughs> like, I was trying to make you competitive, but you weren't even competitive. So, you might got more it. than 30 even if, if I, even if I did, which I don't. I would still be happy for you. No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, how the fuck y'all's got 30 million? No, I wouldn't. I need to do some stand-up. I'd be like, show that right word up. <laughs> I'd be like, show's buzzing to that. Yo, you told me some shit the other day about a certain comedian, and I was looking at their tour schedule, adding their money up. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, no, I'm sorry. I was talking. I'm like, Trevor, if I was Trevor, I'd have quit too. Yep. What the fuck I'm going to be con confined to that show <laughs> every day for Damn when I can right. go on the road and get this yeah. kind of money? Uh -huh. I was like, shit. Uh -huh. Like, he literally had like, 40 dates, and at the time I saw this, he was like, 20 of them were sold out. They just added 11, and that's just the America leg of the tour. I'm like, this motherfucker about to make $35, 40000000 million next year. Maybe. Why would I be in a studio at a desk? Four days a week making $7 million for the I don't whole got year. no kids. You know what I mean? No wife or nothing. I could just go out here and go coast to coast. Talking about the politics in a country you're not even from. And that's just here. Yeah. So I can no. go do my, he probably got a South African set. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying like, for the show. I'm saying for the show. Like you go in oh, there, you got to talk about states you haven't even visited. That's, hey, hey man. All I'm saying do is. Do you believe the senator of Alabama? You don't give a fuck. Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know what, listen, You know what I mean? I'm tired of people from other countries pretending they give a fuck about our country when they we do, don't they even do, give a fuck. No, they do. They do. Cap! No, they do. That 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 listen, those colors you have on right now mean so much to people all around the world. You know that. What, wait, what does that mean? 
<laughs> what do you, what do you mean, mean by that? Those colors you have on right now yeah. mean so much to people all around the world. Yeah, it should mean a lot because other saying. countries don't invade them if they got one of these flags. So that's too. what they care. They care if about America. If you got one of these in your country, you're safe. Think they, about that. They care about Talk America. Talk some shit bro. about America. They care about America. You I, got one of these in your country, you're safe, except Ukraine. I think you got <laughs> you're, you're pretty much safe. I think other countries look at America the way people in America look at celebrities. <laughs> okay. Okay, go on that. That's all I got. I was hoping that you would expound. On it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would see the vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> expound on Did that. I clarify I don't have 30 million? I just need it. Now nah, you got it. Now nah, you got it. Now nah, I have 30 you got million. It. It's on the record. I do not have 30 million. So you got that. It's on the record, bro. Did you get a haircut, bro? <laughs> he got a hair, he got a haircut, right? You joining Guardians of the Galaxy, Drex? <laughs> Yo, oh, see? Yo, 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 yo,
So it's, we're talking about generational wealth. So it's like, of course, you don't, you're used to money. Money ain't even that popping to you. Your parents have money. Everybody have money. Anything that you have access to doesn't make a big deal. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. grew up on the beach, having a, a view of the beach isn't a big fucking deal. Having an apartment in Manhattan is or a big buying deal. the beach. There we go. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, what I'm yeah. saying is like, the first generation to get money is always going to flex a little bit, as you should. Enjoy some shit that I, you I got. Just, I think everybody flexes different. You know what I mean? I think I think flexing for some people in our generation there's a there's a certain yeah, you have cold to, to it. You gotta have the phantom. You gotta have the charm, the chain. You know, humility. This is the thing that gets annoying to me. Humility is the rich person flex. You don't think it's a flex for Warren Buffett to live in the same shitty house in Omaha and sit on the side of the road and drink a Diet Coke and drive a Honda Accord? The flex is going, look how poor I can look. You know what I think about You're that? You're wearing poor face. I bet you he owned that whole town. <laughs> you poor face. He, they're wearing poor face. That's their flex. They're like, look how humble I can be. It, when everybody's rich, you can't impress them by being rich. You got to impress them by not caring about your money. I think Warren owns that whole town. What? I really believe that. I don't think he of just course. owns that one. I, I bet you he owns that whole shit. But the fact that he doesn't live in some lavish mansion, that's like, that's how rich people flex, bro. It's like they're flexing one another like, oh, I don't need all how those rich things. How do we know he things. don't live in that? How do we I'm know above he lives, money. How do we know he he doesn't, how do we know he does stay in that house though? Say again? How do we know he does live in that house? I've heard that story. I Listen, I don't know. I don't yeah. believe anything from these motherfuckers. All I'm trying to say is like everybody has their version of flexing and the flex is pretending to have the thing that you don't have. We all do it. And why would you not do it? You're supposed to fucking do it. We were talking about this on, on Flagrant, but it's like, I'm tired of dudes getting upset at women for getting plastic surgery. Like, if you could get surgery to make you look richer, you would. No. Charlamagne. Only thing I really want is a foreskin coat. What is that? I know you really want to get this out so no, bad. I, I know you will. I really do. I know you want to I get this out so bad. I just think that's a different so type of flex <laughs> for somebody to see your leather and be like, what is that? You'd be like, Well, how do you know your leather isn't made from foreskin of other animals? That is very true. So you might have a leather. Other animals? Cup. Of course. Animals get circumcised? No, they don't. Well, they get sh the whole skin. They get skin. That ain't the same. I want that dick skin, bro. What, part the of it is the dick quote? skin. Of course. Nah. What do you think they make the gloves out of? Nah, because they all, all animals mix <laughs> the pink. You never had fingerless gloves? What do you think that is? That's five little oh, you mean like dicks. the shit they, the Fonzie used to wear? <laughs> That's five cow dicks. And you just put it in like that, and they obviously cut it so the dick can come out. Uh, 100%. What do you think they make fingerless gloves out of? Is that why leather smells like that when it gets wet? You mean tastes good? <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you imagine somebody looking at a jacket and be like, that tastes like boss? <laughs> mm. mm. <laughs> Rare. <laughs> Four skin coat would be fire. Why though? Why? I just think that's a different type of flex. Like yeah. that's a that's a different type of money. Yeah. When you got foreskin, because they say they throw the foreskin away, right? They, who is they? Google. They treat it as <laughs> biological waste, right? Wait, wait. Who is they though? What do you mean? Like who is they? Google. No, but who who circumcises? Who, which they are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Okay, so the Moreaus throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Chris the, throws it away? The Moreaus throw it away. We okay. know the Moreaus throw it away. All right. Yeah. That's what I think happens. Huh? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, bro. You worth 50 <laughs> million, bro. Yeah, you got 50 I am million not, dollars, bro. That bro. is a lie. You got 50 and stop believing dollars. stupid shit like Celebrity Net Worth. That shit is the biggest con in the world. Nobody knows what somebody is Yeah, holding, how do bro. they calculate that? I have no idea. I just know it's some bullshit. Nobody. That is the biggest con going. I bet you your net worth not even right right now. Go don't ahead. even look at my net worth. <laughs> don't even look at my. I don't even want motherfuckers to know about my net worth. What do I look like? Oprah? <laughs> I look like Oprah to you trying to flex my People life. People respect it though. Uh, yeah. They respect it. They respect it. Uh, bro, I went to this fucking that hotel, bro. And my whole thing with the hotel is I want to escape. I want to get away from any stress, anything. Like, I'm out. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with anything at all. So, I'm going to go to the middle of nowhere, no people, nothing. So, I could actually truly get to relax, feel no anxiety, no stress, and just totally take a break, right? Um, That's that's what I, that's what my goal was, right? That's a lie. You made that. Charlamagne. Three times over. Charlamagne. Off that, the infamous. That was my that was my goal. Okay. Right? <laughs> to be completely stress free, right? <laughs> you see what we're trying, you know what I mean? And because I know the stress that I have here. So I'm like, why don't I go to a place where I can have no fucking stress yeah, at all? Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I go to this place and I'm going there Thanksgiving week, obviously, right? Um the problem that I didn't realize until I got there is the place is on a Native American reservation. Man. 
So there was no celebration of Thanksgiving. Not a lot. <laughs> Damn. Not a lot. Damn. Damn. Did that make you feel awkward? I mean, I got some of the saddest happy Thanksgivings I've ever gotten in my entire <laughs> life. From who? The people the that work there? The fucking Native Americans working there, bro. No. Yes, dude. Oh, So they yes. got to do that shit just to be hospitable, but man. But begrudgingly, bro. And I didn't want to say it to At them. At least you wasn't an asshole. What do you mean? Like going in there, like being the super celebration Thanksgiving guy, what fucking turkey me? hat on. No, turkey I, hat. I was an asshole <laughs> in my own way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte, big A figures. Mm -mm. Big A figures. That should have been like that for a while. Big A. Oh, oh, oh. 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 No, I'm saying that, that, oh, that, excuse that, that number. Excuse no, no, that, that, that number has been up there for oh, a while. Oh, shit. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, that number has been up there ba, ba, ba. for a while. That number has been up there for a Oh, wow. shit. Bro. Yesterday's price, not today's it's price. It's not today's <laughs> price. I don't even care about that kind of Let's shit. Let's go, shit so bro. Stupid. Stop pulling up Angela Yee's net worth. Pull up Charlemagne the God's net worth, bro. Sue Thang's lead is her last week on That's the Breakfast Club. That's why I said that. The Breakfast Club, as we know it, is officially over. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> What's wrong oh, with you, shit. man? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Oh, shit, got, dude. This is crazy. You should have took the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is crazy. What's wrong with this guy, man? Listen. Yo. Uh, did you yo, see? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo. Pull that net worth back up, bro. See if that shit went up. Because this guy stay making money. They got to adjust that shit every hour. As I rich this motherfucker is, okay? Pull that shit up so we can see how much how much it is now, Taylor? How much it is now? There is one, I saw one that got a really fake number. Woo! I'm like, get the fuck out of here. What is that? Celebrity net worth with an F? Was, yes, exactly. <laughs> For real. It was one of those sites like that. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. That shit said something crazy. That shit said almost triple that number. I'm like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah. It said almost triple? Like 30? Yes. It said 30? It quick? actually said 27. Ooh. But I, I, the reason I can say that is because I know it's not true. Like, oh, that's wait, just, but what you got, though? I got life. What you got? I got life, man. Talk to me. Life, man. Talk to me nice. Life, man. Life is a beautiful thing, man. Happy to be here, man. Yeah, how many lifetimes? What? <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about Glorilla, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Did let's go to Glorilla's um, net worth. <laughs> she just getting started. Glorilla having a great fucking six months. Yeah, she is. A lot well, of viral, I mean, a lot of viral activity. Literally, Yo Gotti jumped on. She she jumped on the yacht with Yo Gotti this summer. Now she's out of here. Like a uh, fuck nigga free is a. Hit record, that record tomorrow with Cardi B about to be a number one record. She got nominated for a Grammy. Killing like, it. She's killing it. But she said something that I found was interesting because I think this is very generational. So I have to take her word for it. Glorilla's like, what, 23 years old? Oh, you have the clip? Oh, you got that clip ready, huh? But not Howard Stern? What's, what's up with God you? God damn, Taylor! What's up with you, Taylor? <laughs> what's your net worth, Taylor? What's your net worth? What's the quote? I just got to say this. Glor what? If you trust her. N word. That you met at the club. Use a hot ass mess and a goddamn fool. And you don't. Got no motherfucking home training. You had to look at that N, right? You had to be. I, did, bro. <laughs> I had to look at it. She spelled no and O. Sharply, bro. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, Taylor Gay. I just gotta say this. <clears throat> I just gotta say this. If you trust the nigga that you met at the club, mm. you was a hot ass miss and a goddamn fool, and you don't got no motherfucking home training. Cause bitch, why the fuck could you sit up here falling in love with a nigga that you know you met at a place where he looking for hoes at? Bitch, you looking for hoes. He finna treat you like a motherfucking hoe, bitch. Why the fuck could you send your dumb ass right here falling in love? Stay woke. Stay the fuck woke. I'm I'm 44 years old. Uh, I haven't been to the club in a long time, so I got to take her word for it. Whoa. If she's telling, you know, women, our, gu our guys too, like, they, yeah. they, there's nothing happening in the club except for fucking. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, so she's saying don't even go to the club? She's, uh, she's well, we had her breakfast club. She said she don't go to clubs, but she's just basically saying, like, why would you take any person serious that you met in the club? Well, it depends. Like, what if you're, what if you're a strong, independent woman that wants to get her punani crushed? <laughs> But that's the thing, right? Same way guys go to the club looking for poom poom, women go to the club looking for dick dick. 
Yeah, and, and why can't women get some dick dick? They can, you know what I mean? But they just, they, they, they're they not able to do it without, you know, I guess feeling like hoes. Oh, but do you think a girl who just wants dick dick is a hoe necessarily? No, I think she's a woman who knows what she wants. Or she, or her cat died or and, something. And I think, yeah. <laughs> and she, then she no, just wants real. company. She, company, she wants yeah. some comfort. Yeah. Company, no company, that's real. Company, she comfort company. company. That's right. She Women wants, want company. She wants company. Yeah. I, I agree with that. I like yeah. that. We should You should coin that. Yeah, company. Company. Because that's also good because it's like come and fanny. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like come on me. Come on, come on, come on, on your company. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The interesting thing about this though is that uh, <laughs> women and guys yeah. act like they can stop who they grow to love. Mm. It don't matter where you meet a person. That's true. You can meet a person at a club. You can meet a person in church. You can meet a person in Target. If you and a person got a chemistry, it don't matter. If y'all meant to be, it's gonna happen. It's regardless. gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like, th- like that. That whole mentality. I'm not saying that it. You know, it might block your blessings, but you know, it does make you go into certain situations and probably miss out on, you know, your future. That's true. Though I would, uh, I do also understand where she's coming from, where she's like, yo, the people here are just trying to fuck. And if you're trying to meet a dude who is not only trying to fuck, then maybe that's not the place. That being said, those people, dudes that are trying to fuck might also be trying to find a girl. That night they're trying to fuck. And maybe yeah. another night they're like, oh, I'd like to find a girl, et cetera. Yeah. But I understand what she's saying. I totally understand what she's so saying. So where do you meet dudes now? That, where, where do you meet dudes? <laughs> Like where do you where do you meet guys to like be friends with? Yo, be where do you friends find friends with? these days, man? Um, I mean, for the past thirteen years, all my friends have come through this business. Interesting, literally. Yeah, like, and I think that's the way it should be. Absolutely, I've never been the type type to be like no new friends, no new friends. A lot of my friends have helped me get to the next level. A lot of these new friends have helped me, you know, evolve and get to the next level. <laughs> do you want to talk about that guy, man? Who? Listen, man, I've said it a million times. I will continue to say it a million more. There's nobody on this planet that seeks white validation like Kanye West. And I found it so interesting when I watched clips of him on that, uh, what was it, the Tim Cast podcast? Tim Cass, yeah. I found it so interesting because he really acts like he's a victim. Yeah. <laughs> he acts like he hasn't caused this on himself. Yeah. And, I, you know, y'all can kiss my ass. The Jewish community did not overreact in any way, shape, or form. Yep. They handled their business. Yep. And what I want to ask black people is, what are y'all holding on to? Ooh. How many more times does this man have to give you his ass to kiss? Oh. He, he went from making crazy anti-black statements, right? We all know him. He got a greatest hit. Slavery was a choice. Harriet mm. Tubman didn't free the slaves. You know, the, the, the George Floyd's death defense and all of these different things. He's just shitting on, he's shitting on black people a million different times. But now you're just running the streets with full-fledged white supremacists. Yeah. People who are have have fully embraced Nazi ideology. That's the Nick Fuentes guy that he's with? Fully embraced them. Can you them. break that down to me? Well, I had a list, actually. I saw a list on this article that came out uh, yesterday. Let me see if I can find it. What's the name of that list? It was on... Uh, what? <laughs> I think it was who was what article? Who was it? Uh, was it's it a the list New York of what? Times. What is it? A list of? It's a list of all of the things that this guy has done. Oh, and wild. said wild. Uh, huh? Oh, you got it? Oh shit! Yeah, send me that, Chris. Wow, you have that one right on deck. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, no. Kind of interesting how that works, huh? <laughs> Chris, that you just got that one immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So the headline, it's the New York Times, Trump's far-right embrace. Why it's important to know more about, uh, what's his name? Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes. Man, they had a list, though, Chris. Mm-mm-mm. Like, they had it, like, bullet-pointed and everything. He's called homosexuality disgusting, <laughs> asserted that the Republican Party was run by Jews, Well, what's atheists, disgusting homosexuals. about homosexuality? That needs to be pointed out. I have no idea. Said it would be better if women could not vote. That's wrong. Compared himself well, to Hitler well, 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 well. and hoped for a total Why Aryan say, victory. What would be better if women didn't vote? The lines to vote. He declared that the First Amendment was not it, written it for Muslims. Be lower, there'd be smaller lines. <laughs> and he maintained that Jim Crow segregation was better for them. It's better for us. It's better in general. All I'm simply Whoa! saying is this dude has embraced like. Did you hear that? <laughs> Jim Crow blown segregation white is better for them. Better for us is better for everyone. That might be debatable. I cannot. But, You've heard. Actually, this is so interesting. <laughs> No, no, no. That's the my, the argument for that is is that actually you've heard about this argument. No, right? I've heard I've heard the argument. Where that, like the communities were able to build because they were more insulated 
and you are supporting your community. You're going to your community's grocery yeah. store. You're doing. But the problem with that is every time black people dr- do that, like they, some, they destroy, they, they destroy the community. <laughs> yeah. Every single yeah. time. So, so it works as long as you don't firebomb the community. Uh, yeah. As long as you let us cook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all be cooking, bro. Yeah. Man, get out of here, Come man. Come on, man. Oh, Come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, y'all be cooking, man. You know I mean? Like you was at a black person house for Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> hams, grams, mams, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> Can I get to the yam? No, no. You know sweet, it. Sweet yams. You know it. And also, man, I don't want to go through another two years. <laughs> I was singing that shit at the I Navajo can't go th- I can't. <laughs> reservation. They was not feeling that at all. Hams, grams. <laughs> I don't know, graham crackers? <laughs> <laughs> what is grams, man? Nobody so, said grams, greens. Oh, hams, greens, tomatoes, potatoes. I, I do. You know it! I do feel like we're making a mistake yeah. by uh, Uh-oh. Giving, Uh-oh. giving this so much media attention. Just, lamb, grams, hogs, dogs, that shit is old school, bro. <laughs> 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 This guy's so stupid, man. <laughs> you ain't got sturdy yet, bro. We are waiting on the sturdiness to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> you was getting nerdy, but not sturdy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> also, I can't go through. It's November 2022. How, is it though? Do we have to go is through two years on whose calendar? of Trump and Kanye in the media, bro? Oh my God. Do we have to go through this? Uh, listen, you know who could shut it down immediately? The media. <sighs> CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, y'all do not have to report on this shit every five minutes. Did you see Kanye on the Tim cast? No, I didn't. I just saw the walkout. You just saw the walkout? Yeah. And he walked out in like the weirdest way. It seemed like he wanted to walk behind him. Like, why don't you just go out through the door, Kanye? You know what I mean? Like, what was going Man, on there? The funniest meme in the world was like, somebody said, Kanye is really assembling the Avengers of scaring the host. Scaring the hose? Yes. Like, like, you're scaring the hose. Yeah. Yo, that's, that's funny. Hey, bro, you're scaring the hose. Like, it, you're a weirdo if you do that? Yo, when you got when you got Howard Stern out here saying... You just walk around the whole thing in paper town, bro? No, it was there already. Oh, okay. When you got Howard Stern out here asking a simple question... That was crazy, bro. I thought you just busted out paper towel no. from your backpack like that. That was... No. When you got Howard Stern asking a simple question, which is how much of a self-hating black man are you? Oh, shit. That's what he said. That's what he said about Kanye West. He said, how much of a self-hating black man are you that you would be out here embracing full-fledged white supremacists? And that is a valid question. That is a valid question that everybody, for whatever reason, especially you Kanye stands, love to avoid. Hmm. Why can y'all point out the 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 the, the coonism in so many other people, mm. the Uncle Tomism in so many other people. But when mm. it comes to Kanye's anti-blackness, you turn a blind eye, and it's some greater plan. And you know he's 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 doing all this to liberate us. What? How? How? Are we at the point yet where we're we're willing to say his music isn't even that great? I don't think so. I'm he ain't you. put out no beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> but all, but, yo, yo, but he did not put out no beans, greens, but tomatoes. But you can say potatoes. that's Kanye BC. Huh? That's Kanye BC before Cooney. Oh. So the 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 the, the, the college dropout bam, bam, bam. and the late registration yep. and the graduations and the my beautiful yeah. dark twisted fantasies and yeah. the eight oh eight heartbreaks that came before all of this. I mean, no, I'm just joking. Kanye is absolutely amazing at making music. We had uh, Ari uh, Shapiro on a podcast, and he was like, yo, and we were asking, what do you think about all the Kanye Jewish stuff? He's like, why didn't he just make a song out of it? He's like, he, his gift is song, not tweeting. If he made a song, people would listen to it. But you got to see the thing with songs, you got to have a... He's Jewish, the guy who said this. Yeah, but you got to have content. Like, you got to actually know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> like, a, a song has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Does it? I think so. Like, a song can't be just rambling. He can go on these podcasts and stuff and just ramble. Mm. You know what I mean? But a song has to have a, a, a thesis to it, don't you think? But, mm. You don't think so? I don't know. I don't know, man. What you looking for in that? This book right here. I was looking for my Vaseline, actually. But since we're here, 
uh, this book right here, since we're talking about Let me see this. these type of people, but it's called can Five I- Types of People Who Can Ruin Your Life, Identifying and Dealing with Narcissists, Sociopaths, and Other High Conflict Personalities. Okay. Great read. For, the five uh, types of people that will ruin your life. Yes. One. Beans, <laughs> two, greens, <laughs> three, tomatoes, <laughs> four, potatoes, the five, yams. yams. Can I get to the yams? Stay away from all those types of people unless you want to have a delicious meal. <laughs> you know it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Charlemagne. Let's pay some I'm bills. just saying, Charlemagne. <laughs> America right today is going up against Iran. Oh, man. They are? In the World Cup. Oh. Oh, in the World Cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I like how all of y'all give a fuck about football now. I'm, once every four years. Iran is trying to play unfair, bro. What do you mean? They are threatening the families of all the players. I like that. That's fine. Well, why don't we do it? Because we've said that a million times. Like, you see somebody playing bad and you'd be like, damn, yo, they must got his, his mama tied Locked up in up, a basement. But they got it like that out there. Wow. That's a team who wants to fucking win. So what is our, who's, who is Iran threatening? Their families, bro, the players' families. How, though? They got them in a bunker or something. I don't know. Are you making this up? Yeah. <laughs> no, man, like, guy, I man. think nah. I'm making up. This I guy, might be right. Nah, this it's, guy. It's a real it is a real story. A real See, it's a real Pull story. Pull it up right now, then. I don't Pull it out. Pull it out right now. Cock it back. <laughs> if any of the players protest um, like they did the, la- the first game, they didn't sing the national anthem because of all the rioting and um, stuff that's going on in Iran. So if they didn't protest, sing what national they anthem? They didn't sing their they own national sing anthem, but they should be singing anthem. our shit too. Hold on, Iran didn't sing their national yeah, anthem. The yeah. Iran players didn't sing their national anthem as a protest to the country because they don't like the treatment that's going on. Oh, so I oh Iran is threatening Iranian players. Yeah, yeah they can't pr- threaten. Oh, our I thought players. you said Iran was. I thought you, the way boys. you said it was Iran was threatening the U.S. <laughs> You're not players. threatening our players. <laughs> Fuck oh, boys. Yo, chill out. <laughs> what? They just, I'm just yeah. talking about the establishment. Oh. I actually, I fuck with Persian people, yeah. man. I like Persians <laughs> a lot. That being said, fuck boys. <laughs> it's on today. Right. What? 2 p.m. Right. Eastern Standard Time. All right. What? You're going to get approached in the street, and you know what you're going to say? Iran. Iran. <laughs> Iran. <laughs> <laughs> you get approached by You know what I did, y'all? Iran. Iran. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay some bills, man. <laughs> nah, but for real. Uh, Blue Chew. You want to do Blue Chew? Hell yeah, I want to do, do Blue, Blue Chew, Chew, bro. Man. I busted the sorriest nut this morning, bro. You nut quick? No, no, not quick. Just not a lot of it. Because <laughs> I was nutting into a, to, to a test tube to test my cum. Oh, word. Yeah, and almost none of it came out. I was like, I almost was like, yo, I need to run this back, doc. Damn, what you think yeah. is you? Say again? What, they che- you checking your sperm just to make sure you can... I can get my wife pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, she's just paranoid. We've been we've been doing this for we've been doing two months of sex. Why do you think it's you though? Uh, I, you just like don't. why do you think either anything is wrong? Period. Like I don't because uh, yeah, I don't know. You I, just want to make you sure. Ever been around a woman? <laughs> I don't know. Have you, has that ever, you ever been around them? Has that, <laughs> have you ever you ever been around a woman that wants something and they want it now? <laughs> no, I get it. I get yeah. it. I so, get it. You need go. to go get checked. But I okay. busted a nut where I was like, nah, this shit might be my fault, yo. <laughs> like, it was bad, bro. Really? Yeah, like, I was squeezing the toothpaste to get a little... I almost, <laughs> threw, I almost threw some water in there. That might have been that lie. little premium. I, yo, you might have avoided that yo, little premium. I literally <laughs> almost threw a little water in there just to have it be a little less embarrassing. Like, I almost <laughs> filled the test tube up just a little bit. That shit was bad. Oh, you got to do blue chew. What? <laughs> you got to do blue chew, what? crazy guy. I should have blue chewed this morning with myself. Sometimes you need a little alone time. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? Yo, yo, <laughs> bust a blue chew by yourself? <laughs> you know what I mean? Wife's out at work, out at the office. You bust oh, a blue chew by man. yourself. Listen. Go full mask, cock and squeeze. Hey, you listen, know what I mean? It might be cold now, okay? But with this week's sponsor, Blue Chew, Charlamagne. your winner is about to heat up. There and right it is. Guys, we all know that confidence can take you far in life. That's especially true in the bedroom. Yep. Especially when it's time to step up to the plate. Uh-huh. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. 
Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, okay? Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package, okay? You see, Schultz, Schultz is trying to take the Blue Chew, man, because he wants to bust heavier nuts. Facts, though. Facts, I think the harder your penis, though, I think it's scientifically proven the bigger the nuts. Yeah? Yes, it's just based on the hardness of your penis. I think. Word up. Don't quote me on that. Uh, so Word if you could benefit up. from extra confidence when it's time to perform, chew it and do it. Have better sex. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. You got any church announcements, Schultz? Yo, um, uh, yes, uh, beans, beans. <laughs> this guy, is, this guy grease, grease, potatoes, tomatoes, yams. This guy is nuts. Yams. yams. You know it. <laughs> How is it that a woman made the greatest song ever without even realizing it? That's the greatest song ever. Oh, shut up, Taylor. Uh, Taylor, you know, she, she don't identify as a woman. She's in exactly. Church. You see there, fake feminist for no reason. Tell about to jump out the window because you identified a woman as a woman. She was a woman. You never saw the video? How else did he have said it? How is it that woman made the greatest song? Like, I didn't hear it like I'm that. I'm saying she's not a professional musician. She's a woman. A God-fearing Christian woman. That's Beans, right. green, tomatoes, now, I don't know potatoes. if she's not a professional. Though. I don't know who she is. She probably is professional. But you right here, you're some beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, yeah? You are not thick. That's le- your shit is leftover. That's leftover Thanksgiving food. Yo, that, <laughs> that shit been in the crazy. fridge too long. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what today is? Today is Are Tuesday. you leftovers? You definitely leftovers. Damn, Time to throw bro. that shit away. Beans, Time to greens, throw it away. tomatoes, potatoes. Okay. Can't you know what I mean? To the Yo, we're singing two different songs. We are, we are, we are, we are mixing two different Thanksgiving songs. Why is there more Thanksgiving songs? Beans, greens? Thanksgiving don't get no respect, bro. <laughs> Yo, come on, Drax. Friendsgiving is more Yo, fire than Thanksgiving. Yo, why do you look so much like Drax, bro? This is fucking crazy. <laughs> Yo, like, they got the same fuck. We got to pay him. We got to pay him up, bro. We got to pay For Halloween up. next year? We got to pay you up. Bro, it's the same fucking head, body, everything, man. What was Yo, what's, what's his real name? Uh, he Batista? looks like Vin Unleaded. Uh, That's Batista, yeah. right? Yo, yo. Yo, Dave Batista. No, but for real, we need to figure that out, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Halloween next year. You got to go as Drax. Or you got to go as fast and not so furious. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh, come on. You don't got no church announcement. I church announced it. <laughs> come on. The greatest church announcement ever was did, these greatest That did sound, sound like the church. That sounds like the church menu. Hams. That sounds like the church menu. Um, just make you sure. You know it. Make sure you watch Hell of a Week this Thursday, 11.30 p.m. on Comedy Central right Yo, after watch the Daily that Show. Shit. Hell of a Week. Watch it so Charlamagne can also quit and go on tour. We got a few more and make millions and millions of dollars. We got a few more episodes uh, for the years. How over. many more episodes, bro? For the years over three. After no, after this week too, because Trevor's last day is the eighth. Our last day is the fifteenth. Are you doing something special for his last day? No. Why? Trevor killing. Trevor had Obama on. He had Will Smith on. Now I understand why I didn't get shit for my birthday from you. What? I did give you something for your birthday. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh no, you did. You gave me a bottle of wine. I said, yeah, I did. No. What? That was wedding. Oh, that was a wedding. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Why are you yeah, ganging yeah. up on me when I'm just trying to be silly? Uh, but yeah, make sure you watch 11.30 p.m. on Comedy Central. I forgot who we got this week. I know Lou Rell is going to be on. This guy's unbelievable. I think Amanda Seals is going to be on. Oh, Trayvon Free. Trayvon Free will be on. And I believe Val Demings. Don't quote me on it. Ooh. Yeah, but uh, tune in 11.30 p.m. Comedy Central right after the Daily Show. Uh, Man, this was wild, bro. What? The Colorado LGBTQ bar shooting. Oh, 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 come on, man. That happened at Club Q. Uh, God bless all of those people um, yeah. who perished in that tragic mass shooting. Uh, uh, God bless everybody that was Oof. injured. But the father. Yo, the father is a crackhead weirdo. That's meth, bro. Come yeah, on. whatever, meth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Clear meth. Yeah, like. Ugh. That was wild. 
Like you get told that your son just committed a mass shooting at a gay club. At a gay club, and you're like, oh, I ain't gay. He's not gay, and you're claiming that you're a Mormon. Um, even if you think gay is a sin, right? Yeah. Even if your religion tells you that gay is an abomination or whatever the Bible says, yeah. The Bible don't speak too fondly of murder either, my guy. No, he does not. No, <laughs> like, it does not. Like, like I don't, I don't think that the weight of uh, I, mean, I don't this think you can weigh those jaw, sins. This guy's jaw is crazy, bro. crazy. Yeah, let's hear. It was a shooting involving you know, multiple people, right. and then I thought they were on going to find it's a, a gay bar. Yeah, right. And, and, and I was like, oh my god, is he gay? As a scare, oh my god, shit, is he gay? <laughs> and he's not gay, so it's like this. So it's, well, you guys had had conversations about that. You, you were, oh, yeah, kind of, you, you were yeah, you were adamant that gay is bad. I am a Mormon. I'm a conservative Republican, and we don't do gay. We don't do yeah. gay. We don't do gay. Yeah. I can't get answers from the attorneys, really, but they're saying that some of these people are involved in a gay bar or some shit. I don't know. Um, Because he's so animated and so comical and so right on the nose with all of the talking points. Conservative Republican, religious, you know, and not not kind of really making light of a mass shooting, making it seem like the LGBTQ issue is bigger than that. Mm -hmm. Like. Those are the kind of people that fuel conspiracy theories because you're like, there's no way this could be real. Yeah. But it is real. It's fucking terrifying. It is real. And religion (sighs) is a motherfucker. And, and, you know, I I did a, uh, I did an interview with Fox News um, Digital a couple of weeks ago and we was having a conversation about, you know, uh, Secretary Pete. And I was saying that, you know, being that Secretary Pete is part of the LGBT community, it probably gives him a lens of empathy, Right that a lot of other people may not have. Because when you come from a marginalized community, you're able to, to see things. More, yeah. you're, you're, more, you're more considerate about, you know, other people and what other people are going through. But I also said that reason, him being a part of the LGBT community, is why I don't think he probably would ever be president because of stuff like that. Because this is such a religious-based country, right? This is a country so rooted in Christianity mm. that I don't think they would ever accept a, a member of the LGBT community as president. I think that they would accept <laughs> a, a woman or a black person before I think, a I member think, of the LGBT community I because think, of religion. Yeah, I think that there that's very reasonable a way to look at it. I also think that we felt that before Barack about a black president. You know, I think that you, every famous comedian was like, there'll never be a black president, never will Absolutely. it happen, et cetera. And then we saw it, and now it's compl- incredibly plausible to have a black president. Like, I think people... Any day now, we might have one. I think, right. I mean, no, I, you, know, you say any day now, you might have one. <laughs> God yeah, for, man, God but I just think, I just think, forbid, I just think when you're going against somebody, when somebody thinks they're going against their faith... No, I, I think you you're 100% I mean? right in that, in that regard in terms of that's how people believe... The question is, like, will they put aside certain beliefs to allow that no, to happen? I don't think this country is as progressive as they act, bro. And you know what else showed me that? What? The movie Bros Flopping. What, what is that movie? It was a romantic gay comedy. Hey, yo. That, <laughs> that had a lot of marketing hey, and yo. a lot of promotion. Hey, yo. And it flopped Pause. at the box office. Maybe everybody just paused it and then nobody got to see it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> if you think about that, like maybe the movie started and everybody was like, yo, pause. And then the guy up there was like, all right, I guess. And then they never got to actually see it. I just I just, I just think that people aren't uh, as welcoming of that lifestyle as, as we pretend that People I also are. think I also think with a romantic well one I don't know if the movie's good or not I have to see one if the movie's good it's a very easy scapegoat to just be like people didn't like my movie because they're homophobic like two things can be true that people can be very homophobic yeah. which we know is fucking true you see but what, what about the gay people even if people are homophobic forget the well, forget that's, them that's what I'm there's, saying there's millions and millions of gay people that, that could have went to support that movie but that's what I'm saying is maybe maybe they didn't like the movie and and I think the biggest issue here is not even the movie itself it's the biggest biggest issue is. Nobody goes to the movie theater to see a rom-com anymore. Certain movies just do not work in the movie theater. The only thing that actually can work in the movie theater right now is... Superhero action Superhero shit. action, Top Gun, Marvel, or, or horror. Yeah, horror has been killing as well. So apparently bros gross 11.6 million in the United States, Canada 3.1 million, other territories for a total wide 14.7 million. Uh, bros released alongside Smile initially uh, projected bros 8 to 10 million from 3,300. Bros <laughs> flopped. Yes. There's so, another gay rom-com coming too. I went to go see the menu this weekend and uh, they had it at the beginning of the menu. I forgot what the name Fire was. Fire Island? No, it wasn't Fire Island. Oh. 
Maybe anyway, it was. I guess my I point know. is rom coms are not going to exist in movie theaters. Now the way that we consume content has changed. Say again. No, Bros is the one it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Drax. There's a. Uh, <laughs> come on, Dra Drax. Come on, Drax. Stop playing around, dude. <laughs> that was the most Drax comment ever, too, right? <laughs> come on, Drax. Okay. So, uh, come on. Come on. So, come on, Charlotte. Come on, Why are you <laughs> looking at me point. like I'm a plate of beans, greens, and potatoes, bro? So. Crazy. <laughs> so this guy is so crazy. Why am What's I wrong crazy? With this guy, man? Why am I crazy uh, right now? <laughs> Come on, Charlemagne. Why am I crazy, man? Because you're nuts. Whoa. This guy is so Whoa, crazy. yo, whoa. But what were you saying? I think that the way that we consume things in movie theaters yeah. will change. And uh, because of that, movies will change. Like, bros might do well if it's good once it hits streaming. People watch rom It should be streaming. on streaming now. It's not? If it, it's, if I don't know what they're waiting for, if it's yeah. not already, I don't know what they're waiting for. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just think that, you know, when people are morally opposed to homosexuality because of faith. Yeah. Ooh, that's a tough nut to but crack. But people go see a lot of movies they're morally opposed to. That's the thing. Like, people are morally opposed to crime and they go see crime movies all the time. I was saying, like, but he, he, this guy's a perfect example. Yeah. He's literally just kind of like overlooked the fact that all of these people got killed and is more worried about his son being gay. Yeah, he's a horrible like, human being. That makes and no his son's sense a whatsoever. Horrible human being as well. You know who else is horrible? Uh, what? Balenciaga. What happened with that, bro? This is wild. Now, now, I don't. I usually don't discuss things that I can't afford or hardly pronounce. But we know so, for a fact you can afford it because you're worth fifty million dollars. That that's not true. That you're not worth true. fifty million dollars. Not true. There, Balenciaga. This is this is wild, right? What is Balenciaga? Can we say that right now? What is it? What is it though? Like, what is it? It's clothes, right? High end clothing brand. It's it's, it's a, a high end luxury brand. brand. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pull up what they did, Taylor. I know they still in the production company for twenty five million. So basically, they got these kids, right? Mm -hmm. And it looks like BDSM. So basically, they have teddy bears that are wrapped in uh, like BDSM leather. gear. Yeah, and there's a yeah, there's a there's a there's a a, a court document in the bag that oh, Jesus Christ, Taylor. It's it's truly impressive. <laughs> yes. It's truly yes. impressive. There's a BDS. So you see, like she she sees us reading and it'll throw down. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's literally looking at it and pointing. Exactly. And French luxury brand Balenciaga apologized hey. for its advertising campaign hey. that showed two young children posing with bears wearing BDSM style harnesses and featured court documents that mentioned virtual child porn. What's wild about this is now they're suing the production company that put it together, but the production company is like, y'all oversaw the whole thing. Well, who is the creative behind it? I think that's... I think everybody needs to be investigated. Well, no, everybody should, but like there is... Uh, every one of these campaigns has a creative director, right? Yeah. And I think we need to figure out who that is. And then the other thing that I would say is like... The empty wine glasses with the kids? Like, what's going uh, on, bro? Yeah, yeah, but the court doc is the craziest thing. The court doc? Like, the court what? doc is the craziest thing. So the court document... Uh, we looked at this on flagrant. What would it, what did it exactly say? It was a Supreme Court case. It was a Supreme Court case about child porn on the internet yeah, or pull, something? Pull that up, Taylor. Yeah. It's probably in that same article, Taylor, if you just... Any... You uh, don't read. Just look look for it. Maybe another one that we can bring it up. But the point is, it's like, why can't you just keep the kids out of it? Like, why? I don't get this shit. Like, it's so hard. I don't get it. Just leave no, the fucking... And, and nobody says that's a bad idea. Yeah. Like all of these people on set, nobody says, hey, yo, even in the production company is saying that Balenciaga oversaw the whole shit, right? Yeah. But my thing with the production company is even after you got what the creative was, why did you agree to do it? The Supreme Court doc is basically saying child porn is illegal, but producing and distributing sexually graphic images of children is okay as long as it's not obscene. So, but. So Balenciaga is basically acknowledging the graphic image, but that it's okay per the Supreme Court. Doc. Wow. Which is even worse because you're basically wow. saying, yo, this is what we're doing. Wow. Somebody need to be investigated, bro. I don't know what the punishment should be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I don't wear this shit no way. You yeah. Know? I mean, and, and, Kanye and, is the luckiest man on the planet right now. Why you say that? I mean, Balenciaga drops him and then they drop this. Yeah, but he's trying to stand on a moral high ground. But, but no, his, his, a, his campaign manager literally got caught up like five I'm not saying it makes him good. I'm just saying. For condoning pedophilia. Uh, wait, what? You knew that. Knock it off. Oh, oh, Milo Yanopoulos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yes, that was a different thing. But he was, oh, God. 
Yeah. So what Milo basically said that it is very common in gay relationships where an older man will date a younger, a younger gay boy and um, boy being, I don't know exactly what he is like a boy. And there's like teenage age. I just know he caught a bunch of backlash because they said he was condoning pedophilia. Yeah. He was saying for some reason it's all right, which it absolutely is not all right. But he said it was probably more common in the gay world because those younger gay men don't have other younger gay men that they can talk to about being gay. Yeah. But my point that, is, I'm not, I'm not condoning it. Yeah. What I'm saying is that's where he was coming coming but if you're from Kanye, how you gonna still, call you out can't have children dude you can't That's just, right. yeah, yeah but how you gonna how you gonna call out balenciaga but your campaign managers <laughs> yeah. you, you know what i mean yeah 100%. have y'all had that conversation yeah i mean kanye is just grasping at straws 100 percent. but i think we could also look and just be like yo dude like this is just crazy yeah this is nuts like yeah. this this campaign and and i really think the reason that people aren't like up in arms about it is because it's balenciaga like yeah. the average person not paying attention to some shit they can't afford. Like I don't, I've never seen a Balenciaga ad in my life. Yeah, this is the first Balenciaga ad I've ever paid attention to yeah. ever in my life. Yeah, and it's only because of the commotion around it. Yeah. you know what I mean. I don't. If I've worn Balenciaga, I did it because uh, Ty the stylist put it on me. I don't mm. buy this type of shit. But these motherfuckers need to be investigated. At least an investigation. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. Like, I need to know why y'all thought this was okay. Like, check somebody's computers or something. Like, let me see what you got on your cookies, bro. There's a guy who is the creative director of this campaign. You think? There has to it's be. Gotta be, right? Somebody has to make the decision. He's being sued. The guy, his, his, I forgot his name, but whoever runs the production company, I think his name was Nicholas something. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're, they're suing him, but he's throwing it right back at them like, bro, y'all oversaw this whole I shit. I don't care who gets sued. I just want to know who thought this was good. I just want to know their That's right. name. That's right. And I want to know that. Because but it's, it's like, a number of people, though. Gotta yeah, be, right? Yeah. I think we should just, I think we should be able to know who they are. That's right. That's like, right. And I want to know the parents that sign their kids up for this shit. Yo, that shit That's is right. wild. Bro, parents that let their kids be like the girl who got molested in a Law & Order SVU episode, it's like, how bad you want your kid to be famous, yo? That is weird to me. Mm. That is fucking, you read the script and the girl gets molested in the episode. That's mm. every Law and Order That's SVU. And you're like, oh, my daughter would be perfect for this? You need to be investigated. That's not weird. Mm -hmm. That's a solid point. I never thought about it, but that's a yeah, solid point. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I think, I don't know. I think wanting your kids to be famous should be illegal. What if it's written into... <laughs> that should be illegal. What if, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, like, if, what if it's written into the script, but it's like, Nothing happens to him. No, you know of what course I mean? nothing's going to happen. It's acting. No, 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 I'm saying, but like, I'm not, sometimes it, it, some people act this shit out. Yeah, but you've seen movies where this shit is acted out. No, you've never seen a movie where there's molestation of a child acted out. What are y'all talking about? That fucking movie where the, the girl thought that, uh, the woman thought that her her dead husband was reincarnated in, in the little boy's body and she was in the fucking tub with the little boy. Yeah, but they, were they being sexual? Yeah, she was washing them. She thought it was her husband. What was the name of that fucking movie, man? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Beans, greens, tomatoes. <laughs> <and potatoes. laughs> Shut up, man. Um, but what if, what if the person, what if, what if, not, what if the person doesn't have to do anything, but it's just written into the script? I, that I, this person got. Text. I still wouldn't want my daughter to be acting as if that happened. I don't yeah, want I them. I don't want her to even access no, those it. feelings and I'm emotions. With, like I'm with you. a director has to say, "Hey, can you act a little molested no, I'm today?" With you. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, we can. We can absolutely no, do it. No, I don't think we need movies. Those should be documentaries. Like, oh, yeah. those, no, for real, those should be teachable moments. When you're trying to tell these stories, yeah. use them as teachable moments and tell the story. How many, how many of these famous kids do we need to see be complete weirdo fuck-ups as adults before we start going, maybe it's dangerous to allow your kid to do that shit? The you fact, get abused. You, you get abused even if you, uh, even, I'm not, forget abuse, just falling off. Yeah. Being a child star, making all that money, having all that attention. And then when you get older, nobody gives a fuck. Jesus Christ, man. That shit right there might drive you insane by itself. Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to manipulate you. Everybody's trying to treat you in a bullshit way. You oh don't actually God. get real interactions with people. I think it's a very odd thing that parents would see what happened. Like, for example, there's a lot of parents, right, who see what happens to people who play football. And they go, I don't want my kids playing football because it's really dangerous and it could hurt them. Their, ki their parents who go, I don't want my kids to skateboard. Now, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do, but they go, I'm going to limit my kids' ability to skateboard because it could really hurt them. I'm looking out for their well-being. Yeah. That same shit should be applied to being a child star because literally 90% of them are absolute fucking 
zonked out nah, abuse victims as adults. No. It's sad. When you do meet the ones that have grown and they didn't go crazy, you really are wondering. Like, and I asked them if you if you notice, there's been certain interviews we've interviewed people who were child stars and like, Yo, how did you avoid not going say? crazy? Like, I remember the re- most recent one was Kim Fields. Uh, you know, Kim Fields has been around since Facts to Life and different strokes, right? Yep. And it was her mom. Her mom, Chip, her mom was in the business. Her mom was there with her, kept her grounded, you know what I mean? So it's just like, yeah, that you, you need those people around you that aren't fucking users, you know, and sucking the, sucking the fucking life out of you, man. And uh, also put a button on the Balenciaga thing. Uh, it, I, I get going after the celebrities, right? I don't, I, I don't get that. I, I get it just because they, that's the face of the brands in some ways. But okay. my thing yeah. is this. What what are you, what are the consumers going to do? <laughs> the regular everyday people who buy Balenciaga, like if you don't just call for Kim K to not fuck with the brand no more, why don't you just call for people in general not to fuck with the brand no more? Right. You know. Yeah. Like Kim K is just one person. Yeah. You know. Like what is she going to do? Not fucking with the brand no more. Yeah, I just don't think it's Kim's fault. I don't think it's her fault either. You know, like, you know? yeah, I think it's like she was doing it before they put out this stupid ad. It's not like she has to co-sign all the ads. Yeah. Like, that's weird. Yeah, but yeah. I, I will say on another note, if Kim had violated some type of moral clause, they would feel free to drop her. So she should be able to drop Balenciaga I mean, yeah. and still get paid. She don't want to leave, you could tell. Because they violated the moral clause. You could tell she don't want to go nowhere. You don't think so? You saw her little statement. She's like, I, you know, I've talked to the higher-ups. I told them how disappointed I am with them. What does she even do with Balenciaga? Assessing the situation. I don't know. She got to get a piece of it or something like that. No, Balenciaga's been gotta, around too long for you her. You think? Yeah. I thought know. Balenciaga's new. Hell no. That shit is an old-school luxury brand. As for my future with Balenciaga, I am currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand, basing it off their willingness to accept accountability, something that uh, should have never happened to begin with, and the actions I expect to see them take to protect children. That's her way of saying, I'm going to forgive their ass. I'm making too much money off this Maybe, shit. Maybe. Are they going to fucking have to cut her a big-ass check? Oh, yeah. They're going to cut her a nice one. Let's do some uh, things we won't care about next. No, let's do Ask an Idiot. Let's do some go. Yeah, we got to yeah, leave. has got to get up out of here. I believe that because you be gaslighting me all the time. Taylor just said gaslighting is the word of the year, and I agree with her because she be gaslighting me all the time. The underscore corner. Oh, this is a good one. When, when was the last time y'all had a miracle moment? When was the last time you had a miracle moment, Schultz? A miracle moment? A miracle moment. Um, I, I, when I was at, the, uh, when I was at that, that resort, man, and I saw like what took nature hundreds of millions of years to create. Yeah. I mean, it's really amazing. Like, Part the way that those mountains are created, the 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 plates, the Earth's plates, smash into each other, and then they get pushed up. There's a couple other different ways they're created. They're also sand dunes that are just petrified. Like water goes on them, they kind of lock in place, and they like harden, so the rocks really soft. But it was really cool when the plates smash into each other. It pushes one plate up, the other plate up, right? Mm-hmm. So that's really the sea floor is now at the top. So if you look at the top of these little mountains, they have this little icing like on a cupcake that has all these things that are from the bottom of the ocean. Wow. You know how fucking weird that is to hey, climb to the angel top? Come. It is. It is. Wow. It is angel come, dude. Word. I was up there licking it all up. <laughs> word, 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 word. Your skin looks better because of it. A hundred percent, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. That's a miracle moment. <laughs> yeah. It was a miracle, dude. <laughs> it was a miracle, a miracle man. It uh, was an absolute <laughs> <laughs> fucking miracle. Have you ever tasted angel cum? Nah, not angel cum. What type of cum? Uh, what? Yeah, what? What one are you more familiar with? I, I mean, I guess women cum. Oh the yeah, squirt. The squirt is. No, nope, that's more of the urine. Well, it's salty. It's good. Oh. It is. It is good. No, for real, it is really good. If you could get like a, a, a like a, a pot of it, yeah, and boil like crabs and some shit in it, yes, that should probably be good. As that. Yeah, <laughs> dude. What? <laughs> what dude. <do> you, <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> you don't think so? No, they do. They take. They take. Uh, they do that. Actually, that shit is seasoned like a motherfucker, bro. They do, they do that with um with a uh, with with male cum. Word is bond. Y'all think salt water like fish is slapping? They, they, clams? I'm te- no, they do it with uh, 
They do it with crabs, with male cum. They'll boil male cum and they make a dressing. It's called Old Old Bay. Oh, really? No, <laughs> old, I thought it was just called clam chowder. Old Gay is what they call Oh, Old Gay. Yeah, Old Gay. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah. that was just chowder. No, 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 no. You chowder sure, bro? Is, no, chowder is totally different. Different thing. You sure chowder ain't cum? No, because it's more chunky. It's like Eskimo cum. So no, because they add the potatoes. You thought those were potatoes? That's not potatoes. That's not potatoes. Eskimos have a very thick cum, dude. Really? Very, very thick cum. Very thick cum, dude. They have it is it's astonishing to see one of those guys let one rip. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, how they yeah. pack in the igloos. <laughs> they don't yeah, have yeah, cement. Yeah. yeah, I can yeah. See that. So <laughs> the whole tribe that. just comes and they just start busting nuts in the creases. Yeah. And they just slowly wrap it around and then it's just yeah. It makes all the sense in the fucking Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yep. Um, TM. Oh, this is a cool one. Is it? Is that uh, a cool one? <laughs> no, you know what? Go to Sam Silva. I like this one. Yeah. Is it better to ignore insults and take the high road or throw them back so they'll stop? Depends who's insulting. I think it really depends who's insulting. If you have something to gain, then yeah, go to war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, yeah. you have nothing to gain, then why would you go to war? And I mean, I personally think that insult is a challenge. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Especially for you as a comedian, right? Because yeah. somebody throws some insults your way, yeah. automatically you think they got to be challenging you. So now you got to show them that you really do this for them. Yeah, but I only accept challenges from the worthy. So it's like, mm. I'm not going to blow you up by responding to your little insult. But what about the little bum-ass guy in the front row, a, a woman oh, in the front row live, heckling you? Oh, a live show is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like fun and that's entertainment. Now you're a part of the act. I'm yeah. talking about like, and that person is a fan who like paid money to come see me. Like yeah, they yeah, want to yeah. just be part of this like fun little event. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about like a hater on the internet. Like, am I going to give them shine? Nah, nah, like, nah, nah, that, nah. That's what I thought they were nah, saying. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Um, is it better to ignore insults and take high road or throw them back so they'll stop? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I agree. It depends on who it is. Depends on it depends on who it is. It depends on who it is. Some people are just like, eh, whatever. You blow some Eskimo chunks in their face. Some That's folks, it. <laughs> blow some Eskimo chunks in their face. I mean, some folks like, you know, you, you know, oh, you want this? Challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> let's do one more, Taylor. <laughs> nah, 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 what nah, nah, just nah. happened? What right was there? that? Bro? What was Challenge. that? Challenge. Challenge. Y'all don't remember that? What movie no. was that, Chris? <laughs> Challenge. Challenge. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Let's end on this. Go. Chatty381, uh, when you die and have a... Ch when you die... If you die and had a choice to come back as an animal, would you pick land or sea animal? Land. Nah. Sea, bro. I want to see what's under there, bro. Come on, man. You don't want to see what's under there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, man? I say it like that. I'm going under the sea, man. You know what Why? I mean? Tuna. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can end up some Boston guy's boat. You think so? Yeah. That's fine. As long as, listen, that's reincarnation. So I'll get to see some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get to see some shit underwater. Mm hmm. Get caught up in some shit, probably a net. Mm hmm. Get fried and shit. Mm hmm. Go in somebody's stomach, turn into shit. Mm hmm. Come out of shit, get flushed. You back again, baby. Then run it back. <laughs> run it back. You wouldn't want to be like a bird or something, like nah, be able to fly. Man, nah, the water, bro. The, the earth is 75% water. I want to see what's under there, bro. Really? Yes, man. That shit will probably trip you the fuck out. Imagine being reincarnated with your human conscience yeah. underwater, seeing Namor and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Mermaids, all types of other shit, and can't tell nobody. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? Like, just knowing I used to be human. All this shit is real. That shit will be ill. I would want to come back underwater, personally. Nah. Nah. Not at all for me. No. Okay, Char, how did you feel? Uh... Wait, what is this? How do you feel about those whites not showing up to Black Panther funeral? It wasn't just the whites, guys. I mean, you know... War Machine wasn't there. War Machine wasn't there. Falcon wasn't there. Falcon. After fucking Wakandans gave him a whole new suit. That's you know what I mean? Up. So it wasn't just the whites. By the way, War Machine and Falcon had every reason to be there. They're still on world. Okay, they're not dead. All right? They had no reason not to be there. You yeah. know what I mean? Tony Stark's funeral was lit. Tony, that Every Tony's hero inspired. in the history of the Marvel Universe yeah. was at Tony Stark's funeral. They were not at Black Panther's funeral. Food, Why? I do food not know. Who was fire at the Black Fa Panther funeral, though? Food? Yeah. Shut up, man. <laughs> what? what kind of food did they have, Andrew? 
<laughs> pizza. <laughs> I think they had, I think they had pizza. There was like there was like some salmon and then yeah, also beans, <laughs> greens, <laughs> tomatoes, potatoes, hams, you yams. name it. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.